If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over Wildcard Wednesday, which is heavyweight, as well as a early most feared part three release player. Now, heavyweights, guys, you guys know this goes pretty much heavyweights, rising stars, flashbacks, veterans. They go in that order. It's pretty much a four week process. Also, guys, very important, make sure you guys are heading over and playing your solos because, of course, if you guys don't play your solos, you will start falling behind on getting the free every four week Wild Card Wednesday player, which is important because these players are usable when you're able to earn them. The longer you wait to get them, the less usable they'll be, right? Like, if you do it every four weeks, when you get the player, they're within reason to be used. If you fall behind four or six weeks, right? Like you missed the four solo sets, some. By the time you're getting it, you're now pretty far behind overall wise. So it's not going to be helping every team anymore. Just probably budgety, no money spent squads. But guys, moving on from that, heavyweights, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And of course, comment down below and let me know which is your favorite heavyweight of today. So first and foremost, guys, we've got Rob Havenstein. 89 strength, 91 awareness, 90 run blocking, 88, sorry, 90 pass blocking, 88 pass block power, 91 raw pass block finesse, 92 run block, 90 run block power, and 92 run block finesse. Now, this card's actually really, really good. Like, it's high key good too, because powered up, it's going to have a 90 strength, right, which is great. All above 90 pass blocking besides pass block power, and all above 90 run block. There's going to be a well-rounded threshold right tackle, which is really hard to get these days, especially at this price point, right? Because it's going to be cheap because it's a heavyweight. At some point, he's going to come down to the overall training that 91 overall is worth because that's kind of how you get them. So he's going to be a very affordable, all threshold, pretty much set it and forget it right tackle for quite a while. I really like this card. I think he's actually really, really good. Next, we have Malik Collins. Malik Collins, 91 overall defensive tackle speed rusher for the Texans. 80 speed solid speed for defensive tackle like a really solid speed 88 excel that's gonna be one of the more athletic defensive tackles in the game 88 strength 88 tackle 89 play rank 88 block shed 63 power 91 finesse move this is actually a really good card uh, again powered up he'll have a 92 finesse move i wish the block shed was one higher again maybe a certain strategy card can get his block shed up to a 90 because there's a lot of cards in this game that could use the plus one block shed so it's not a horrible strategy boost but if you can get him double 90 block shed and finesse move with 81 speed and 89 excel powered up and 89 tackle, 89 strength, 90 play rec, this card actually could really produce out of the defensive tackle spot and maybe even pass rush pretty well, right? Because that's the problem. Typically, they're just power rushers and they just take on that double in the middle. But if he gets a one-on-one, -on -one, which can happen at times at defensive tackle, depending on the way they slide, Millie Collins might be coming off pretty quickly. And a defensive tackle that can eat in the middle of the field is always like... The problem with mud is that typically doesn't happen with the way the game plays but like if you ever play like franchise and stuff if you go against like a defensive tackle and eat the middle of the field those are the hardest sacks to really evade because those come up the middle so fast and they got you like lined up like if you go right or left they're gonna be able to dive at you when they come from the left to right side you can just run the opposite way with it up the middle it comes and it comes so fast you're never even looking at the middle you're looking at the right side not even checking them those defensive tackles that come up the middle if you put an end there those guys eat next you have alex singleton middle linebacker for the Eagles, and that's interesting. A heavyweight at middle linebacker, seeing a pretty high speed too. Um, 88 speed, 90 excel, 81 strength, 90 tackle, 83 play rec, 89 block shed, 89 hit power, 80 zone coverage. All in all, very good middle linebacker, I guess. I mean, again, I don't like middle linebackers. I mean, people don't use middle linebackers anymore, but stat wise, he's really not bad. Take it for what it is, right? 89 speed with a 91 excel, it's usable. He gets a 90 block shed as well as a 90 hit power. That's going to be a great run stuff in the linebacker with 80 zone. I mean, he can do just about everything. I mean, for and again, for a heavyweight card, he's not a 94 overall card. He's a 95 overall card. He's not a 93, you know, Ray Lewis. He's a 91 overall heavyweight. Considering you're getting an 89 speed with 91 excel with 90 block shed, 90 hit power, 90 tackling, and 81 zone. I'd say that's a dub for a heavyweight card, right? I mean, I'm not... Because that's the problem. Sometimes people try to look at these cards like all in all. Like, if they drop an 85 overall team of the week card... I have to look at it as an 85 overall card like based on 85 overalls around his range how good can he be because you can't you can't compare him to like a 95 overall damn reno or an 85 overall team the quarterback because it's just not gonna it's not gonna compare this card's not bad do i think he's meta no do i think he's gonna be on most teams no do i think he'll be on any teams not many do i think he'll be great on an eagles team team do i think he'll be great in a budget team do i think he'll be great in a no money spent squad it's possible 
Uh, we got Al Woods, defensive tackle. Another one here. 78 speed again with 88 Excel. Not bad. These are like those Mean Joe Green, Warren Sapp-esque athleticism builds. 91 strength, really good. 91 tackle, really good as well. 87 play rec. 92 block shit, 88 power move, 60 finesse move. So, this guy, I would probably prefer the other one that we saw first. This guy's not going to, he's really just not going to get the, uh, the crazy pass rushing. Now, again, out of the defensive tackle spot, they don't pass rush that well anyways. They're more of block shedders. But the other guy, you know, with the plus one strategy card can get the 90 block shed with the power move. And he's faster. But overall, they're both pretty good defensive tackles. I like the other one a little bit better. Just because I like when guys are closer to the double threshold. But same thing here, right? Vice versa. You can go ahead and get the power move up. But difference is, the other guys feel a bit faster. So, it really comes down to what you guys prefer in terms of defensive tackles. And if you even use them, right? That's the problem with heavyweights. They're going to get a lot of defensive tackles, linebacker, right? Like guys that people don't even like to use. Uh, next, we got Nitain Moody. Nitain Muddy. Natani Moody. I don't know. I'm just saying a bunch of ways. One of them probably is right. Maybe. Uh, right guard, power. 91 strength. Really good. 86 awareness. That's decent. I actually prefer awareness to be a little bit higher now in next gen. 91 pass blocking. That's really good. 91 pass block power. That's really good. 80 pass block finesse. I wish that was a little bit higher. That's going to be an 89 powered up. 89 run block. That's great. 91 run block power. That's great. 88 run block finesse. So powered up and chemed up, guys, and everything. This car will have 89 pass block finesse. 89 run block finesse but everything else can be great if you're in a power power scheme great if you're running a zone scheme not as great but it's very very similar i'd prefer again the other line which we go back was the rob havenstein i think he's a bit better uh well he's definitely better in my opinion the only difference is this card is going to be a guard i mean again if you're taking a free one i think i'd still rather that havenstein he seems more like a lock kind of guy uh, you lock him in and stuff but this guy is missing a little bit of the zone and, and zone's a big part of the game right i mean zone's one of the more one of the more common things you're going to actually end up running throughout Madden. So I, I kind of like having my guys with some zone. And then next, guys, we have Everson Griffin right end for the Vikings. This is going to be the early most feared part three release reveal. So I'm actually really excited to see this. A few reasons, right? It's most feared. I mean, it's on a heavyweight day. A most feared card's always welcome. Everson Griffin's always been like a staple in Mutt. Not in terms of like being meta, but he's just always been around, right? Like I feel like as long as I've played Mutt, he's just been around. Older guy. Which leads to the reason why, as long as Mutt's been around, he's been almost around that long, right? But he's good. Right end power rusher 90 overall. Remember, this is going to be one of the free 90 overalls you can go ahead and get. So if you guys do it for whatever reason, like this card, know that there's a chance you can get him for free. And take it for what it is. These 90 overall cards are a bit watered down, of course, because they, they give you so many free ones. The last thing I want to do is let you get nine free meta cards, right? So, 87 speed, 80 excel phenomenal athleticism let's start there that is great athleticism for a right end especially in a game where pass uh, you know breaking out the pocket and running and being mobile actually is very beneficial this year and much easier and much more responsive which leads to be the reason why you kind of want faster end and these guys are a bit more valuable this year than per usual next we have 88 excel like i said 89 strength so that's gonna be great because power up to 90 strength so he's gonna have 88 speed 89 excel 90 strength so off the rip the like athletic physical wise he's built he's right he's ready for war 88 tackle which will be 89 tackle still pretty good i wouldn't say it's the best but it's going to be really really good as well again it's not gonna be 90 85 play rec wish that was a bit better 87 block shed no, again wish that was better 89 power move that's really good 82 finesse move so the key stats here guys he'll be a 90 power move rusher so if you guys just need a budgety rusher right like if you need a free rusher because you need a, a free fast rusher of course right because that's the thing if you're in a budget squad you're not gonna be able to find a guy with 90 blocks and 90 power move and 88 speed right it's gonna be tough so this is the kind of guy where you can just go ahead and be like, okay, I need pass rushing. I need a guy with some speed to contain and stop some, uh, you know, ends and just contain the ends, right? So that's where I want to go ahead and get Everson Griffin. He's not bad. I mean, he's not great. I don't think by any stretch of my imagination, he's a good card. But when there's cards that can be gotten, like I wouldn't pay money for this card. But when there's a chance to get a guy like this for free, I wouldn't, I wouldn't not consider it, right? I, I wouldn't go ahead and be like, okay, he's out. Because he has, he's going to be one of the faster defensive players out of the bunch that you can get, especially for what you need them for with the 90 threshold that power move is powered up. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, comment down below and let me know what was your favorite drop and favorite card from today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.